condom. No condom, though. Fuck a raw dog. No condom, though. Do you think, who do you think the most overrated Wu-Tang member is? Overrated? Yeah. Ooh. That's a hard one. I'd say as as far as lyrical, probably probably Rizza. As like on the mic. Yeah. I couldn't even disagree with that because Rizza's like pen isn't that bad. Yeah. Like his pen's actually pretty good. But his delivery on the mic yeah. is like Obviously the beats are Like there's a quite a few songs where I think Rizza has better verses than Ghost or Ray. But they're not delivered half they're, as well. They're not delivered as well. No, ever. Like I've ne- like, the only time I really heard RZA deliver like super super dope. Like no disrespect to him. Like on some of his solo shit, he delivers okay. Yeah, yeah. But like, um, what was that? Um, Bobby Digital and Stereo. Yeah, there's quite a few songs on that album that were pretty dope. Is that the one with like guillotine and shit? I don't know. Guillotine. Um. I call it a guillotine, but I'm thinking the guillotine. I can't remember that one. Um, fuck, there was a joint I was thinking of, and I can't think of it. Um, so you, 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 you think? So yeah, you, but his Bobby Digital shit, he, he his his flows are usually pretty on point. There's like, yeah, there's not many songs where he he his flows fire on uh, the Grave Digger shit. Like nowhere yeah. to run to, nowhere to hide, yeah, yeah. Um, and his flows fire on this. When he does a really aggressive hype voice, uh, Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, slam like doors. I'll be forced to the My style is awesome. Like that shit. Like he delivers that but shit like, cold. Like, like, like what I was saying, like, like over hype. Like, 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 chop off your fucking head. Because everybody puts like Method Man, um, Raekwon, Ghostface. Uh, Jizza and Rizza is pretty much the top ones, right? Yeah, like I don't know. I I say I say Inspected Deck is the most slept on member in the group. Yes, yes, I, I agree with that for sure. I think lyrically, I think if you look and at even this, delivery, his deli- he just doesn't have like that like swag, but his flow is fire. I think if you look at just just Wu Tang albums. He, he might be one of the best. He might be like... If you look at Wu-Tang Projects, he's probably like, the well, best like, rapper on pretty well most of them. Yeah, like, you take away all the solos. Yeah. And you look at just the Wu-Tang Projects, Inspector Dex probably. Yeah, one, like, he's... One, like, if not two. He, to me, is the best rapper on 36 Chambers. The best rapper on Forever. And I, then... I agree. Then what do you have after that? The W? Um, The last Wu-Tang one, I think Method Man was... He was fire on that. Method Man was in his bag for that. The last Wu-Tang one, Method Man was clearly number one on there. Yeah, no, he brought brought it on that. Method Man has possibly the smoothest flow in hip-hop history. Yeah. What about... um, And possibly one of the illest voices. What about... um, But... Yeah, Iggy Azalea. No. But, um... (laughs) Um... (laughs) To me, personally, like, for overrated, I would have to, honestly, give it to, um... I think Raekwon. I kind of knew you were going to say Raekwon. Like, Raekwon's got so much fire shit. Like, he's got... He does. does I think he actually... He takes deck on cream. Yeah. He's got a better verse than Dak. That's one of the yeah. few tracks like someone s- stepped yeah. to Dak. Um, but you think like, Raekwon? Eh? Like in the purple tape, I love. Um, but he just a lot of times this sh- like I know he talks a lot of slang and shit, but sometimes it's just kind of like nah. Like I don't know that is this stuff like the other people say on the joint around him that like. You know, he just overshadows it a lot of times. Like, if we're talking Wu-Tang projects. Yeah, okay. Um, Sorry, what were you saying? So what? Um, Bro, Raekwon. You know, I, I find, like, uh, the best solo 
Wu Chang album is um, Purple Tape. Purple Tape. Yeah, Purple Tape is fire. Because wasn't that supposed to originally be either Ghostface album or it was supposed to be like. No, it was supposed to be Forever. Yeah, it was supposed to be Forever, yeah. And then they gave it to Rayquan. Yeah. See, and no disrespect to Rayquan, but if that would have been Forever. Like, that could have been as classic as 36 Chambers. I think Forever is kind of um, overrated. You think Forever is... I, I really like Forever. I know. Everybody your age does. Anyone I know that's your age who, like, was alive when... Like, well, not alive, like, but, yeah. like, was really into hip-hop when it came out. Man. Loves that shit. Like, even, I like, my that. boy's brother. That's, like, I, you know, I, I knew the shit when it, like, even like pretty I'm, well after it came out because his brother was bumping it. And like he was always taking the CD and bringing it, but like, I don't yeah, know, like uh, I remember like even just, like on the way up here on the train today, uh, on on the shuffle, um, uh, reunited double LPs, we're all okay. excited. Reunited like, triumph, like there's fire joints on there. Yeah. The MGM, impossible dog shit. Um, impossible is like one of the, like like one of my favorite Wu Tang joints. But there's a lot of like, isn't Winter Wars on there too? Winter Wars was is on, that on um, Ghostface album. That was on Ghostface album. Iron Man, right? Yeah. 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 Winter Wars is fire. Winter Wars is fire. But um, uh, yeah, uh, I don't uh, know. Uh, Forever uh, to me, it just didn't. Honestly, like uh, for, 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 Forever for me, I like the whole first disc, and then the second disc, I think they could have cut off like the last couple songs. There's a few like, songs on it. Was it like just Black Shampoo. Um, there was like three, I think three or four songs at the end of the second disc that like I, I could have gone without. But other than that, that album was like fire. I could have gone without. And no disrespect, because I like them. But I think Forever would have been a stronger album without Capadonna. Capadon like um Capadon on like Winter Wars is fire. Capadon on ice cream, you know. Capadon yeah. solo shit like Milk This Cow and stuff. But I just think songs like Triumph and stuff would have been stronger without that verse where it was placed. Okay, um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it right now. I have to go, go back in. Like I never really thought about if Capadonna was. Uh, I feel like the album. I, I have to go back. I would. I feel like the album would have been better without the Capadonna edition, because you have to mind you. You're already adding Master Killer because he wasn't really around for the first album. And he yeah. dropped one fire verse on the first album. That was it. So like, for the second album, you're already adding that to this mix that already works so well. Yeah. And then to just kind of like throw Capadonna in there too, it's kind of like I don't know. To me, I just thought that lessened the quality a little bit. And not even because I don't like Capadon or his energy with Wu Tang. I just think like Thirty Six Chambers it, is it, arguably f- top five best hip hop albums of all time. Like that album is magic. I think like Capadon really shined on um, um, Iron Man. Yeah, that's when Iron Man. He really shined on Iron Man. Yeah, that's when like he really kind of came in yeah. his bag. He's like. Yeah, he really shined on Iron Man. I think Capadon has some of the, even the best verses on some of those songs. Capadonna is sick. Like I'm not saying like I don't like Capadonna. Like I feel Capadonna, but he he's almost like uh, if you're gonna like um, the weird um, kind of energy and some of the shit he would say, he'd probably be the closest to a, 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 a older ODB on like some like wild weird shit kind of like yeah kind of yeah out of the box a little bit yeah. sometimes. Like, like he was nothing like old dirty, but yeah he kind like. I don't know. I just I think the album could have done without that. Firstly, secondly, I think RZA should have produced it all. And yeah. thirdly, um, like I didn't like how the shit sounded so clean, which is cool. You know, like Triumph and like. See, see, oh, see, see, so that's where like a lot of people like say it, um, the difference between the people that really like um, uh, Thirty Six Chambers and don't like uh, Forever. Everybody says that the clean mix, which the clean mix is cool. But then they went and made songs purposely sound like they weren't mixed clean. Like, there's songs, like, I can't remember the one. Method Man's got, like, a fire verse, and it's a cool beat. But it's, like, mixed, like, absolute shit. Like, it sounds like it was recorded in, like, a fucking cafeteria at a high school and, like, with, like, a shitty microphone. I'm trying to think what the song's called. I think it's that one. 
I think it's the one with the method. Man. I'd have to go back and listen, but I could yeah. point out immediately. But another fire song on on that uh, forever is a uh, a better tomorrow. Yeah, that song's fire. Yeah, there's a lot. Of I mean, people. yo, there's o- a- older gods. Um, yeah, older gods is dope. That's the piano joint. Yeah, with ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Older gods is dope. Yeah, I yo like it's not a bad album. Like I'm not saying that. Like I think it's better than the W. Like, don't get me wrong, I think Forever is sick. But all I was saying, like, original point, is that, like, what do you think the better album, Cuban Links or Forever? Cuban Link. Now, if Cuban Links was Forever, how fire would that album be? <coughs> you, you get what I'm saying now? See, 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 I don't know because, like, I don't, like, I know how, like, that album sounds with all those Raekwon verses on it. Yeah. So it, it's hard to say if it would be if it, if it would be better or not. I'm like I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. I think at that period it would have been. It's so worked into my head of hearing it this way that like I don't know how it would be as a Wu Tang project. It's so warped in my head. Like I've listened to that so many times. Like I can't picture it as a Wu Tang project now. Well, if you think about it, like, so Ice Cream would have been on forever then. You know what I mean? Like, all those collab joints. But, like, the vibe of those Criminology. two Criminology. The vibe of those two albums are way different vibes. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, to me, forever seemed rushed. You think so? I don't think so. It sounds rushed. Like, I don't know. But like yeah, with 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 the clean mix with like the like how it sounds like. No, it, it could be max mix and mastered well and still be rushed. Like I think Sk- Drake Scorpion was rushed. This is it's a fucking beautiful polish sound, you know what I mean? But it's still rushed. I feel like Drake was you know used to really go in his bag and like take time with music and now he's kind of like just trying to ride the waves like the young guys do like go in and just knock a song you know what i mean like a handful of the best songs on the album he said in that interview with lebron weren't even recorded until after push dissed him so that means within like a couple week radius yeah, you yeah. banged out all these songs and they got mixed and mastered down nice it was some of the best songs but yo actually yo here's a here's a wu-tang debate um i, I think Meth, like I don't know if it's a hot take or not, but I think Method Man's best album would be with Red Man. Maybe um, Blackout. Blackout. I think Blackout is better than Decal. I think it's better than Decal Two Point mm. See, I think Method Man's one of the nicest rappers in the group, and I think he's one of the few rappers who, with time, has actually improved. Um, to Cal, like what the blood cloud is one of my favorite songs but, like, of all but, time. But, I love that. Even uh, Method Man said that um, we're talking about Rush. That, uh, that's what came up to my head. Yeah, to Cal was Rush because he, they he, lost he, a lot of it in Rizzo's basement. He said that it was right? rushed. Yeah, he said a lot of it was lost in Rizzo's basement uh, of a flood. Yeah, but like, which is where Inspected Deck's original album went to because yeah, yeah. he was supposed to have when the first album's out. Yeah, yeah. that would have been fire. But see, and that could be another reason why the sound changed, right? They started making money, and Rizzo didn't, his basement floods. Like, if he loses his equipment that he used, then you're not going to get that same sound. Right. So, I mean, like, you know, shit could very well be out of the control, too. But I just, you, you can I think. You can tell when, when that happened, like, because, uh, like, uh, it's almost like um, the Method Man Cal had a way more, had, had that 36 Chambers gritty sound. Yeah. And then, like, um, so did uh, so did Cuban Links. So did so did the Jizza, the Liquid Swords. Yeah. Uh, ODB's first album. Some of it. A lot of it sounded pretty raw. Did you know the, the this blew my mind? I didn't even know it till the other day when I read an article. Did you know that Brooklyn Zoo was not produced by RZA? Wait, what? Shimmy Shimmy Ya was. Okay, yeah, yeah. But that's like a... I thought RZA produced that whole thing. Same. No, I guess it was... Um, you find the credit. I can't remember who it was now. I think it was like one of old Dirty's like homies or something. It was like it was somebody else, though. I swear to God. I just found that out the other day. 
reading an article because it said something about um, it was talking about albums and producers. Right, on, let's, let's Google this. But yeah, he did. Who produced ODB Brooklyn Zoo? Uh, True Master. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He did a lot of shit though. Like he, he, he True Master was dope. Yeah, yeah, he did a lot of shit. Like, He's really dope. Yeah, but doesn't it have that RZA sound though? Like that sounds like. Well, like True Master had that RZA sound in some of his other production too. But it's that, like that beat sounds like it could have been on Thirty Six Chambers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, man. Thirty Six Chambers is an album I can continuously go back and listen to, and it just like the genius of it never seems to like. Never se- ceases to amaze me. Like, it's just, like, the way it came out at the time it came out, just the way it was put together, like, it's just, like, fuck. And it's, like, Illmatic. Like, there's not a... So, so you're saying with, like, yeah, like, yeah, you're saying, like, uh, I'm a little bit older. Like, uh, I almost feel like um, I, I, I can listen to Forever and I can listen to 36 Chambers in different mo- in different moods, but, like, in different moods, they're both, like, whatever mood that is. Uh, they're equally yeah, as good to me. I don't know. I just, I agree. There are some, there's certain times where I'd rather listen to 36, and there are certain times when I'd rather listen to Forever. And I really like the, the W as well. Yeah, even like Iron Flag's not horrible. Uh, I thought the W was really good, though. I thought it was all right. I, thought, I think there were some misses on there. The One Nation, One oh, yeah, Blood that, Under yeah, yeah. the W, the One that Blood one, sample. Yeah. I thought that was kind of a mess. The Jump Off was fire. The Jump Off is fire. Yeah. And, and uh, then it had like uh, what what most people like that don't listen to Wu-Tang. I like Click Click. Yeah, yeah. Something like, in the slum with rump a pum pum A lot of people that don't listen to, to Wu-Tang, if, if you ask them to name one Wu-Tang song, they're going to say Gravel Pit. Yeah. Gravel Pit's cool. Like, Gravel Pit's cool, but it's not like... Yeah, it's not up there with other Wu Tang like classics. No, that was the song I liked when I was young. Uh, I forget the name of it, but the one with Nas on it, on, on Stomping the... Elephants or Ele- Stampede, so- it's something like that. I think I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I didn't think that song was that great. Like it was cool. I like the one with Buster as well. That one I remember being dope. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, I, I can't go to sleep. I, see, can't I, shut I didn't really, like, I really that like that song. I really like that song. See, I don't know. I just, That's uh, Isaac Hayes shit. Like. Yeah, it was just very like... See, that was one that too, when I was young, I listened to it. I'm like, this sounds like shit. Like, I couldn't even I listen to that, that song. song. I'm like, what jump. the fuck is going off? And um, I, love that song right I just never jump. went back and listened to it, really. Yeah, like, I, I heard it I have a few times. And I know a few hip-hop heads are like, I love that song. I just, yeah, I love that song, too. Yeah. I even went back, I think, like, a few years ago when I started the radio show and tried to listen again because of how much acclaim it has around people. And I was like, I just don't. There's certain, thing, there's certain things that have acclaim with, like, like hip-hop heads that I, I don't really. Care. That you don't get either? Yeah, that, like, certain things. But, like, that one I, I is a song that I really like. Yeah. See, and that's the thing, though. Every time, like, something has that acclaim and I don't get it, I force myself to get it. Like, I just keep going back over time and listening. I'm like, what the fuck is, like... I'm trying to think if there's... But when you don't like something, do you find it's hard to convince yourself to finally like it? Like, like it's one thing if you don't really have an opinion. You know what I mean? I find if if it comes on, like, when you're out and you're out, and, like, if you purposely put it on to try try and like it, it's not gonna happen, but like if no, like, but I mean if, like if, 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 if you're li- if you're out and you're listening to music with people, and that song comes on, you're like, like I'm trying okay. to think. There's been artists and songs before where like I haven't got it, and then like, but it would be like you know I'm trying to think of like like a rapper who like a lot of rappers I like acclaim or something, right? And I'm like, if all these people keep referring to this guy, there must be something I'm missing. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll go back and I'll force myself to find that thing I'm missing. I had to do that with Andre from uh, Outcast. Oh, I got that right away. No, growing up, I thought Outcast was cool and stuff. Like I thought they were dope. Yeah. Like I thought they were a good group. Yeah. But I didn't think they were on like you know level of like inspiring like some of the nicest MCs. I'm like I don't like I was like I've never seen that type of potential in Andre. I'm like what? I, I didn't really see it as a lyrical thing. I seen it as like a. Um they're on a whole other planet. 
Yeah, but when you go back and listen, like Andre is a good writer. Yeah. Like and so he's different. He, yeah, he's he is too. He's so like the spitter. But like Andre is like a poet and it's like different. You know what I mean? You don't yeah. it's like I feel like you don't necessarily get it the first time. You know what I mean? Like it is something you almost have to like tune into, tune your ears to right. to be like, whoa. And that's like but you know, that was just one one for me that I use in this example when like I find it sometimes it's hard to like when you've already made a decision about something. It's like Yeah. I, I, I was gonna say like that's why it's gonna just be open minded, not think anything's whack. As far as like uh yeah, if we're gonna get like what everybody still says like is is great and something that I didn't really feel is like maybe like Eminem later on in his career. Yeah. Like when everybody's like, Man, Eminem's like I'm like, I like the first two albums. Yeah. Like, the third album was good. But yeah. like but like I, I really like the first two albums. The uh, I'm not talking on the underground shit, but but yeah, yeah, I'm talking like the Slim Shady LP. Yeah, and the Marshall Marsh Mathers, Mathers, and then the Eminem show was after that. I like the Eminem show, but it, w- it wasn't up to par with Jay Z. I didn't get when I was younger. I didn't get Jay Z either in- until later on. Yeah, well, like it, it gets like a lot of hip hop heads. I don't know if, if people are like this now, but like uh, I remember we talked about this before. Like when you're younger and you're an impressionable. And, like, when, like, Tupac was saying, uh, fuck Biggie, f- fuck Mob Deep. Yeah, but I never, like, like, I never changed my tune on Mob Deep or Biggie or anything because of that. So, like, Jay-Z like, wasn't really. But even, like, uh, like I was a bigger Nas fan Yeah. than I was Jay-Z, and I think that's why I didn't really get into him. See, and that's another thing. When I was younger, I was a bigger Nas fan than Jay-Z. I had both albums. I had Blueprint, and I had um, Stillmatic. And when Stillmatic came out and I got it, I remember just popping it in. And the first thing I hear after the intro, which the intro caught me right away, "Blood of a Slave, Heart yeah, of a King." I just thought hard. I just thought that line was so dope when I was young. It was like "Blood of a Slave, Heart of a King." I'm like, that's so cool. Yeah. I was like, whoa, like that's a really like yeah yeah that's a really like the um, intro is hard. Like I just I th- I just thought that was such a like powerful line, and then the, they say the brother's still mad. I hopped about the gri- like uh, say I, no yeah. like that shit was crazy, and then. The next thing comes on it, don't fuck Jay Z, and I just I loved it, yeah. And like I wonder if I viewed Jay Z different at the time. Like I wonder if that's the difference between the like, because look at it now, right? Like the MGK versus the Eminem fans, the people who love Eminem and have like have had that investment of emotional investment to them. They can't hear MGK a certain way. Yeah, they can't hear him. They just don't. Yeah, it's like they choose not to yeah, without yeah. even trying to choose not to. Right. Like subconsciously, they just can't. Get over that, you know what I mean. And as soon as the kill shot, it's like that's fire. Yeah. And I'm even a little guilty of it myself, but kill shot actually was fire. But like I, I, I thought uh, MGK's ditch was pretty good. You know what? I go through phases. Like some days I listen to it, I'm like, yo, this is pretty nice. I and then gone, other I, days, I, I haven't gone back and listened to either one of them. No, I, 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 I made sure to uh, once I'm an MGK because I only listen to MGK's like once or twice. And I was like, okay, cool. And then once Eminem's dropped, then I had to play him back to back a few times, and you know, really compare him. Like I think Eminem killed him, but I think I think MG's K's maybe like stung a little more. If that makes sense, I don't yeah. know about stung, but like it was more of a playable. It was more. Uh, it was more of like a joke. It was more like the song wasn't a joke, but it was more of like a. Like you can make jokes out of it. Like people that aren't gonna pay like your weird to, beard and like p- people that don't pay attention to the bars as much are probably gonna think. Uh, and, and MGK's I, was cool. Yeah, yeah. And face value, Eminem fans, even like people who like Eminem, maybe you know what I mean. Like know the basic shit about him. Yeah. Oh, you, you hear the way he said my dad's going crazy, and it's like oh, it's just like to me, I didn't think it was that great, for, especially like for MGK. As an Eminem fan growing up, like you know so much about this man, like you should have been able to make a fire diss. Like and MGK can kind of rap too. Like he's not whack. He, 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 I think that was the best thing I heard from him. So. Yeah, it is. I would say so. I'm not really a big fan of him, but like, I'm not a huge fan of him either. But that, either way, but yeah, it's kind of like that. I say like with the Nas and Jay Z too, right? So it's like the way you feel about artists at a time, like. I think does affect the way that you hear things. So that's why it's good to just have an open mind 
Because, I, yeah, I remember when I, first, everything. when I first got into hip-hop, like, the first person I listened to was Ice Cube. Yeah. And then I listened to, like, Dre, and then I listened to Snoop, and then I listened to Tupac. And then it was all, like, the West Coast shit. Yeah. And, like, uh, I listened to a lot, a lot of that uh, early on. Uh, a buddy of mine, Jesse, like, uh, yeah, he, he, he burnt me. Like, he's like, yo, you need to hear this shit. Like, because, like, w- we would chill out and, like, it was all, like, West Coast shit all the time. Yeah. And he's like, and then he burnt me, like, back when the Limewire days. He burnt me like a Biggie mix. He big, burnt me a Nas mix. He burnt me a Mob Deep mix, and like that's when I got into like everything, right? And I was like, oh, okay, like I can fuck with this shit. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, we should wrap this episode up. This is uh, been a little bit longer than ap- normal, but uh, episode forty six. Yeah. We uh we in the mix. No. We con- in the mix. No. N- no condom on the dick. Pause. Eddie G wants to fuck Robin Thick. Pause, peace. Press up. That was up the Henny. Had a papoose. Yo, what's up? It's your man, MLNY Maloney, breaking records, breaking records radio. You know what it is. I'm just here to tell you guys right now that you want to, if any of my smokers out there, basically, any of my Canadian smokers, now that it's legal, what you got to do is you got to head over to thccollection.com and check them out. And make sure you use the promo code HIPHOP. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. And that's all capital letters. Save 10% on every purchase that you make anytime. They got everything. They got deals every single day of the week, which include like free whatever with whatever you buy. And uh, my favorite is Tulip Tuesday. You can get $100 ounces. And that's only on Tuesdays. And you save 10% on every purchase with the promo code HIPHOP, all caps. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. So make sure you go over there. Check them out. That's THCCollection.com for all your good medical needs, for all your good greenery, your extracts, and all that good stuff.